Dobry wieczór. Nazywam się Peter Munkacz i jestem z Węgrii. I would warmly welcome you everyone here and on the screen. So I would like to express my special thanks for the uh, organizers uh, for accepting my proposals and, uh, inv and uh, provide me a kind of possibility uh, to attend this interesting Visegrad V4 track in order to share my experience, my knowledge uh, in the field of copyright legal history and point of view. From the legal historian point of view, um, it is often said that uh, economy and society shapes law or law influences uh, the economy, uh, society, or the law and economy society are mutually constitutive, uh, which is in line with my presentation. These interactions and the causal relationship taking into account when I present some of the focal issues of the Hungarian copyright uh, history from the mentioned period. The main aim of the, my presentation showing that copyright law development was not uniform across the former Soviet bloc with an explanation that the development did not occur in a complete isolation from the West. At the time, the cultural policy indicated the place of culture in building of socialism by pointing out uh, and that an advanced economic and social order can only be established by educated people, therefore raising cultural policy to its proper level. The system of central economic and political control strongly evident uh, in the set period had left a heavy imprint of the development of the copyright laws. The state monopoly of the customers, users, uh, and distributors of artworks uh, and central foreign exchange control was a natural, inherent characteristic of, of the system. There was only one or two uh, radio stations, TV channels, music companies, um, recording studios. All this has led uh, to state preferences, bans, and censorships when it came to the issue of presenting the work to the public. In the third period in Hungary, the establishment created in the culture a special system of the three T's. Uh, the name came from the Hungarian words meaning support, toleration, and denial. Certain areas, for example, film production and book publishing, uh, were given significant direct uh, or regular state support. However, as an unexpected result of the denial by the power, an extremely huge uh, intellectual and um, creative capacity blossomed in the region, in the counterculture, in particular with the, within the Samizdat uh, publications or the alternative musical scene in the sense of Gesamtkunstwerk, with the complex linkage to the other art branches, uh, alternative theaters, performer, performing art, uh, uh, books, uh, films. In Eastern Europe, the, the Brezhnev years after 1968 uh, saw so reassertions of quasi-Stalinist models of control, while in the West, um, a comparable economic and political chill came to end, what had uh, seemed uh, a, seed, a time of the, um, rising affluence, um, expanded horizons, and freedoms. Sensing the taste of the freedom under strong control in our common regional playground, uh, surrounded by Iron Curtain, for example, uh, spending romantic summers at the Lake Balaton, hitchhiking from Hungary just to explore Krakow, or listening to Zbigniew Namyslowski, uh, Tomasz Tanku in the legendary Polish jazz festivals. We listened to each other favorite high quality bands. The Silesian jazz rock fusion group SBB or Czeslav Niemen were extremely popular in the set period in Hungary and Poland's uh, Kasiek Staszewski and his band uh, Kurt soon the leg legendary ballad of the Hungarian Omega, uh, the girl with the purse hair, which is very well uh, related uh, to our track uh, because um, a recent comment on the YouTube uh, mentioned the song as a Hum Gruppe Visegrádske.
Uh, Hungary, like the most uh, central and east, uh, eastern European countries, has a long-standing copyright tradition. Codified the uh, era of the socialism, Act 3 of the 1969 uh, was a result of the rising affluence, uh, expanding horizon and freedom, and was strongly based on the international legal evolution, took into account historically the European continental legal system, a tradition that continues today. The changes in the Hungarian copyright law were in concordance with the development of the major multilateral conventions such as the Bern Convention and the Universal Copyright Convention, revised both of them in 1971. At the time, uh, there was a center for collective administration of um, uh, on, for collective administration rights. It was called Artisius, and which held the legal status of governmental organization, and their procedural and organization rules uh, existed only for these organizations. As an instrument for the management of cultural uh, processes, the copyright law was defined by the integral unity of moral and economic rights. Chapter 2 of the Act <laughs> enacted moral rights for the first time in the legislative history of Orland based on the monistic approach. The next slide shows us the moral rights provided by the uh, copyright acts to the authors. And the, this, uh, the following slide um, is about the important amendments um, of the copyright law in the 80s. Uh, we implemented uh, first in line the droit de suite, uh, public domain payon, uh, blank tape levy, and software programs. Um, over the last 25 years, uh, the cultural institutional system has gone uh, uh, through a restructuring process and moving towards uh, um, an, an impressive legal development of the Central Eastern European countries can be seen from the 90s in the field of copyright. Um, the increasing importance of the development of the protection of intellectual property in Europe is also reflected in the main enlargement documents, uh, such as the Europe agreements and the association agreements. Although the universal and regional agreements profoundly regulate uh, the copyright, the framework regulation based on the legislature on the national level. So bilateral agreements uh, do not play a significant part uh, they have rather a political or um, diplomatic significance. For example, the Hungarian United States um, uh, International Agreement from 1993. Um, the 1994 Amendment of our Copyright Act uh, was an important step forward concerning the neighboring right and more right again. In order to meet the Hungary's international obligation in this field, the national law recognized moral rights for performers. In the autumn 1996, a comprehensive regulation of the collective management covering um, all authors and neighboring rights was adopted. This rules, a legal form of a civil law association, applied to all, at the time, newly established agencies concerned with the collective management of rights, including artists used to. Conclusion. So, the Hungarian copyright law in the late 70s or the early 90s was in the vanguard of the worldwide and European legal development and not isolated from the West. <laughs> However, uh, the legislative enactments after 2000, same as in other EU member states from Central and Eastern Europe, shows an young phase development. The copyright experts uh, transformed successfully their substantial copyright system into the international or and regional standards, but I think uh, they couldn't find appropriate answers to online and digital phenomena. There never was a tremendous difference uh, between the copyright legislation and the reality in the post Napster period. As a public servant, uh, copyright expert in the public service, uh, I know it is a kind of self-criticism uh, for me as well. Finally, there is a question. Uh, 
Should we have a great expectation on the, this recent European uh, initiatives? Or should we describe it a kind of uh, per, uh, girl with per has uh, phenomenon, as it is in the refrain, per her girl came, was it true, or was I dreaming? Jenkui and Bartu, thank you for your attention.